Once you identify an incident or non-conformance, you need to investigate the cause and respond appropriately. It may be a one-off incident or it may be a recurring problem. The monitoring forms associated with the work instructions and standard operating procedures will provide this information. A record of non-conforming product on corrective action sheets will enable you to investigate further. If the incident is recurring, then further investigation will be required. The best way to gather the information you require is to talk to staff to find out what happened and the circumstances that may have contributed to the incident. Factors that could contribute to non-conformance include low level of skills and knowledge of staff or insufficient staff, lack of information on procedures or unclear information, malfunctioning equipment. Have a non-conformance in food safety. Here are some suggestions on how to gather the information to investigate the non-conformance. You can talk to your staff, you can look at the equipment and resources available, and you can look at the procedures and work instructions. You can talk to your staff. Are the staff adequately trained to carry out monitoring? Were there new staff members who may not have been familiar with the requirements of the food safety program? Were they short staffed? Do the staff need extra training on food safety handling? You can look at your equipment and resources. Is there sufficient equipment to carry out the monitoring? Has the thermostatically controlled equipment, for example, the fridges or the ovens, been regularly monitored? Have there been problems previously with the equipment? Are there sufficient resources available to apply the food handling procedures, for example, single use gloves? You can look at the standard operating procedures and your work instructions. Is there a procedure for staff to follow? Are the procedures clear? Do they need expanding to include the area of non-compliance?